believe. I think I'm live. Look, people are joining. Super. How amazing. Hi, guys. Hello, everyone joining. Hi. It's lovely to see you. Can you hear me? Can you give me a thumbs up in the comments if you can hear me? Because I don't know how to do these things. I feel like I would be more nervous doing this than if I was doing a proper, well, not a proper launch. This is a proper launch, but if I was in a pub and stuff. Oh, you can hear me. Brilliant. Oh, look, loads of people are joining. I thought it was just going to be me, like crying into my Prosecco. But I've got fizz. I've got fizz. Um, and I've got olives, hello, and a feta stuffed, um, what do you call them? Pepper Chew Pepper. Thank you, Matt. Matt, Matt. Hello. You all right? It's okay. okay. He lives here, so, <laughs> you know. Um, and I've also got my pandas out to watch, as I don't have a human audience. I'm having um, a panda audience instead. Um, I don't know if you guys know that I'm absolutely obsessed with pandas. Um, and this is my top panda. This is Chi Chi. Say hello, Chi Chi. Ah, uh, she's a cockney panda. Um, oh, it's so lovely that everyone's everyone's coming and joining. Oh, someone's saying hello to you, Matt. Well, it's not about Matt. It's about me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, this is strange, isn't it? Um, thank you so much for coming. Um, and joining me in this weird situation for everyone. Um, and thank you everyone who has already bought my book. I've had to order more, um, because everyone's just been so, so lovely and I've done my first print run already. So I'm chuffed to bits. So thank you. And then if you haven't bought it, well, I'm, I've got more now. Uh, so you can buy it. Um, if you like what you hear, I guess. Oh, Toby's here and Cecilia's here. Selena, hello. Hey, hey, and Clive. Clive's amazing. Shout out Burning Eye Books, obviously, because they're fantastic and I love them so much. Um, I think I'm going to kick off and, and do a poem or two while other people, other people join. So I'm just going to put you there. Oh, hey, OK, great. Um, this is the book. Way. Um, it, I've had I've gone on a bit of a journey with this, actually, and um, not knowing whether to put it out or if it's good enough or you know because I never feel like a proper poet whatever that means um but I am so so very proud of this um and I'm so glad it's out in the world especially now um so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna read a couple of poems and then I might come and talk to some of you lot watching um so yeah I think I'll start with a pub one write a lot about pubs and I've especially wrote a lot about uh, pubs in this collection I've worked in a lot of pubs shout out Adam who's watching who is a regular in one of the pubs that I've worked in and still work in on West Ham match days don't know if you can see this bad boy that's my uh... well actually I got this West Ham shirt for for Matt I know he's not a West Ham fan but he kind of has to be now um and he he's going to tell you a little bit um about that later um but yeah i'm gonna do this first poem it's called all right mate it's all betting slips and free papers crosswords and quiz shows casual misogyny i let slide but only for the ones i like the evening creeps closer with each pint this is a ritual daily dose of weak lager and you're all right mate yeah, I'm all right. Tobacco tins on the bar, prized treasure, amber leaf filter tips and licorice Rizzler. They tell old stories with new vigor, play their parts. Joker, pissed, keep myself to myself and read the paper. I don't know why I come in here. Yeah, well, plenty of other places to drink. Bite your lip, sip your pint. You all right, mate? Yeah, I'm all right. One's wife left him for another man. One never sees his son. One went bankrupt and disappeared. Couldn't afford his daily habits. Started wasting away alone at home, but they found him. Nearly broke down the door. Passed a pint glass round for bread and milk. Brought Tupperware of home-cooked meals. 
they put him back on his feet. Next time I see him, his clothes don't fit. His voice is quieter, eyes darker, hands shaking as he reaches for a pint someone else had to buy and all I can manage is, you all right, mate? Yeah, I'm all right. Woo! So, um, yeah, I, I suppose I write a lot about sort of working class communities and like um, the gender stereotypes, the gender roles within that and how that's sort of um, quite familiar and warm to me, but how that's also quite problematic as well. And so I've got sort of a, a thread of all those. Hello everyone. Oh, you're all in the comments. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I wash my hair. I wash my hair. I put earrings in. I put makeup on. I'm wearing a bra, guys. Okay. So like... <laughs> I'm just so happy. Not that I'm wearing a bra. I've actually discovered that maybe I just shouldn't wear a bra for the rest of my life because actually it's really fucking comfortable. Um, but yes, thank you for your... Oh, you're applauding me. Um, amazing. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll just do a couple more. I'll do a couple more poems and then I'll maybe maybe speak to a guest. Izzy, you are right, mate? Yeah, amazing. Um, oh, and Jemima, hello. This is so fab. Guys, thank you so much. I really thought I was just going to be on my ones and just like with with Matt. So this is really nice. Um, okay, I'm going to do uh, a poem about my current situation and it's called I Don't Know Why I Live in London. <laughs> Every penny I earn is spent before it lands in my bank. Every landlord fixing on the cheap. Paint and plaster over old fittings, old pipes, boilers on the blink, multiple jumpers over central heating. I have looked at the gas meter eight times this week and my frown lines are getting deeper. I've forgotten I'm in love. That it shouldn't matter if the water's gone cold and we're boiling kettles to wash up. Oh, I actually submitted my um, meter readings today, using a lot of energy, actually, um, being at home all the time. Uh, but that's that's to worry about a different day, isn't it? Um, yeah, I think maybe I'll do one more. Shall I do, what, shall I do one more? I'm going to look at what you're saying. Hi, Maria, we love you. I love you too. Hey! <laughs> Toby Campion giving me this, not this this um and so much love hi alice um this is lovely i'm gonna really enjoy looking at uh, the comments later as well um i'm gonna stick on the love theme love and i'm going to read a poem i haven't read very much um and one that i'm very proud of because um, I, before, before I started working on this collection, I never wrote to form at all. And I think I had a sort of like, mm, form, uh, elitist, classes, poetry. I, I'm not good. I, I don't care what Sistina is. Um, but I do care what Sistina is. And, um, I guess I always just felt a bit silly for not knowing what these, um, what these forms were, what, you know, how to, how to write them. So, um, I sort of looked up some of them and tried to, to write some of my own. One of which was a Sestina, a cheeky Sestina Turner, as Toby Campion calls it. Um, I'm not stealing your joke, Toby, so I'm, you know, I'm crediting you for it. Um, so I'm going to read um, what hopefully is a Sestina. Now, if you're listening to this and you realise that this is in fact not a Sestina, don't fucking tell me. Never tell me that ever because um, I'm, you know, really proud of the fact that I think I've written one so maybe just keep that to yourself um and then I'll talk to somebody else it's called gargoyles you look fab oh thanks I washed my hair um okay here we go gargoyles now that you love me my clothes don't fit I sit with you and drink red wine I barely look in the mirror Sometimes the guilt creeps in. You kiss it out of me. You tell me how much you love my body. I believe you every time. 
I didn't think I'd have the time to find the perfect fix. Spent so many years hating my body, numbed myself with wine. There were gargoyles living inside me, pulling faces in the mirror. You check your rear view mirror. We finally have some time. You don't dare look at me. One eye off the road and you'd have a fit. Backseat clinking with bottles of wine. I am desperate for your body. Are you desperate for mine? My body. I stand naked. You become my mirror. This used to take a bottle of wine. Undressing used to slow down time. Not knowing if I was the right fit. It put the fear of God in me. Never felt natural to me. Sharing my naked body. Worried it would never fit a man's desire. Gargoyles in the mirror. But with you I take my time. Savour it like an expensive wine. We sit and drink red wine. It soothes every part of me. It's moving quickly now, the time. It's taking its toll on my body. You stand with me in front of the mirror, your arms round my waist, the perfect fit. There will be endless glasses of wine, a constantly changing body, Gargoyles always inside me, showing themselves in the mirror. I will make my peace with the cruel hands of time. Now that I have found somewhere, someone that I fit. Um, feels good reading that. I don't read that one a lot. Um, but yeah, it's nice. Bye. Um, yeah, lovely to see people joining. Lovely to see you with a face. Sounds like a Sestina to me. Woohoo! Yeah, thank you. I really hope it is. I, I'm still not sure. But um, let's, ha let's have a look at who's here and who I could possibly talk to. Oh, thanks, you're clapping me. Wah! Um, right, I've never done this before, so let's see. Can yes, I can go live with people. Laurie Bolger, would you would you like to go live with me? Let's see, because she's going to answer if she wants to go live with me. Erin Bolands, Estestina, gone. Why? Um, it just says waiting for Laurie Bolger. I'm not sure. Maybe she doesn't want to come. Hello. <laughs> Hello, matey. Sorry, did I take you by surprise? No, I should I have just informed you. I was just enjoying it. My light's not very good. Look, oh, there's my light. Hello. There it is, above your head like a halo. Yeah, look, I just can never get my phone at the right level. There we go. Is that all right? Yeah. In my little room. All right, girl. Wait. All right, girl. How you go? How are you getting on? Yeah, You've been doing I'm amazing good. things. I'm good. If you don't know already, everyone, Laurie makes amazing um nice things poetry and nice things she makes earrings she makes cards she writes bespoke poems she's a wonderful poet um and we love her yeah look everyone's saying hello to you too That's better. oh hi guys i'm just gonna have a prosecco break yeah do it oh congrats yeah. mate i'm so proud of you Ta. it's mad isn't it it feels so odd doesn't it but like i've even put yeah. shoes on like i'm out oh you know? Really? Yeah. I've got slippers on, babes. I've still got my slippers on. I've got my Birkenstocks on, like it's summer. I might be wearing a dress, but I'm still wearing slippers. Fuck that. <laughs> I've, got, I've got my jumper on and my Carol Baskin shirt. So. Oh, stop! Have you watched it all? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I've watched it all. I might rewatch it, but I saw the other day that there might be um another episode put on. Did you know that? Yeah. Bonus. A bonus. A bonus. Yeah, a cheeky bonus. bonus. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Um, so yeah, are you all right? How was your day? Yeah, fine. Yeah, really busy actually for a change. Been making. Shall I give you a little tour here? So yeah, yeah. this is where the magic happens. Oh, there it is. There's the That's magic. lovely. And I've been doing this yeah. today. Go Baskin, stop. 
Laurie Baskin. Laurie Baskin, that's my, I'm just that's my new stage on whatever name. I said. Look at all of these. So these May, look at all these wonderful orders. Cards. This one You're is... not silly, are you? Let's get pissed and pretend we're in Spain. That's for uh, a yeah, bottle of wine in Spain. So, yeah, just yeah. been doing that, really. But no, I'm all right. I'm not too bad. Just, oh, I did dyed my hair oh, as well. Yeah. I look like a tiger now. Oh, God. So, mate, what are you, you're just obsessed, aren't you? I'm going to go pink. Obsessed. Are you? Yeah, but I thought I won't do it for tonight in case it goes green. I was supposed to get my hair cut just before the old quarantino. And <laughs> quarantarantino. <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> and uh, I didn't and, uh, and now I feel like my hair's too long but I'm actually quite enjoying it I feel a bit sort of like yeah it looks good I, uh, I cut my own fringe and then my mum sent me a, a tutorial about cutting your own fringe and I was like alright <laughs> so it is a little bit wobbly. you cut your own fringe anyway though because a lot of it I, I used yeah. to in drama school I wish I didn't do? oh my auntie Ka listen alright girl it's your auntie Kath in France my auntie Kathy lives in France just joined Miss 20 minutes. Oh, don't worry, Kathy. We'll be here for a while. Oh, thank you. Um, Laurie, do you want to read a poem or something? Yeah, I will do. Do you want to read um, some poem things that apparently we yeah, write? Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, I've got a poem um, that I wrote about waving out the window. Um, sorry, clapping, nice one. clapping out the window. Waving through windows. Um, Evan Hansen, isn't it? I've been listening to that all day. Um, very loud. I think my For the NHS, I'm guessing. She, not other things. Yeah, she's too into musical theatre. Um, no, definitely not. Um, but I tried to print it. The printer's run out of ink. But I can just about see it. So, yeah, I might read it okay, yeah. for you. That's every yeah. Thursday, isn't it? Yeah. I've just got a horrible feeling that I was clashing with the clapping for the NHS, but I'm not. That's tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine? Uh, no, so, yeah, clapping for the NHS. And also everybody doing things like emptying the bins, working in Waitrose, everybody that's not just sitting at home making cards. Amazing. Um, so Yeah, my one of my best mates texted me before this. She was like, I'm really sorry, mate. I can't. I feel terrible that I can't come to your book launch. I'm at work tonight. And she's a nurse. And I was like, I think that's like literally the last thing you need to do. <laughs> you know, that, mate, sorry, you sort, sort, sort your priorities out for this. Nice. Yeah. So, we've so got Melissa we're and Kira. We've got to pretend we're in the roebuck. Pretend we're in the roebuck, yeah, okay. Yeah, not my got, bedroom. We're having olive. Look at that. Hey? Oh, we're having olive. Cheers, babe. Might as well be in the roebuck. Passion fruit and grapefruit ale there. Such a wanker now. <laughs> Cheers, Lovely. babes. Mm. So, yeah, Cheers. So I'm just using my own poetry beer mat here. It's good. <laughs> you know, burning eye gang. Oh, I've got one of them on my dining table. Um, I think Johnny Fluffy Punk's little boy blocked his toilet with those beer mats, so... There's a little fat... Table snacks. Little I am the fat. table snack. Okay. Right, should we do it? Mm. Please, go ahead. Okay, so this is one I've never read because I only wrote it the other day, but it's called Window. And, um, yeah, big up everybody that's doing really hardcore stuff on the front line and this is set at this window where we did the clapping there's the window this very window oh it's lovely i know this is the life right <laughs> she's doing all right <laughs> just selling cards mate you know okay oh. so window side by side with the people i've been inside with for days we salute in a surreal pause. Opposite neighbours we don't know door to door, window to window. And we clap because we can. And it's like that moment at awake where you go, I wish we came together like this on other days. It's a shame it's now. It's a shame it's because of all this. We wave at the little baby, make our cheers as determined as the family with the messy dog or the man on his own in his shorts. And our applause isn't the loudest, a bit sloppy in places, to be honest, but we're trying, we're all trying. And then we go back inside to warm lounges and stir fry on couches, to feet in our slippers and telly, and then silence, 
thanks. Trying to get your head around life is hard enough on the best of days, and we could all do more. But it's the little things. I wonder what would happen if we did this again at Christmas. That's it. Thanks, Dave. Thank you, matey. Should That's I do, beautiful. Should I do you one more that I was planning to do about um, a very short pub one? Yeah, of course. Feel... Obviously, love um, love po pub poetry. I know. Well, that's very much your book, isn't it? So, um, so this is Public House. Um, it's in my book, and it's shaped like a beer pump. And when we finally get back in the pubs, I think we're going to celebrate them in a really big way because we're going to be like, I can stand near you and touch you and give money over to no. the barmaid and then snog her. Um, so this is a uh, Public House, and it's about my favourite pub in London that got was going to be turned into flats and then the council you know were like oh we'll put, put posh flats up like everywhere else and the pub locals were like no 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 we're gonna all buy shares in the pub and keep it going um so that pub's called the ivy house in peckham um and this is about that but i i feel quite close to it because it feels a bit like when all the pubs shut um because of this you know so yeah. public house the princes and dukes have given their last orders handed over to the builders, their chimes have all gone quiet. The grated wooden sign wobbles outside while they prise off the tavern's tiles, look, they're hacking them off in chunks. So here's one for the locals, the ones who smoke down to logos in doorways. Let's toast to the barstools, who propped up last orders to the regular pull of the pumps. And did you hear the carpet cry when they pulled it up? Each fibre a sing-song stuck and then drowned in cement. And here's to the door, the one that opens easily, to Friday nights, doled up for karaoke and the licence to let go. Yes, mate. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Thank you for coming to join me. You're so welcome and I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody else do their thing like pop on because it's really weird isn't it but like what else are you doing? i know you know so i know babe amazing. but we're here aren't we we're all here yeah I'm really people join you. give well, you love well. give you claps and hearts hi toria hello <laughs> hello and selena everyone's giving you so much love oh, um it's to you girl cheers mate have the best night and um i'll just be here at my desk just watching you like i'm in the robot I don't really know how to get rid of you. I'm, I'm scared that if I get rid of you, I'll end the video. I'll get, if, rid, if that I'll happens, get rid of me. Here we I'll go. just go. Ready? Okay. See you later. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, leave. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. She's left. Um, hello. It's just me again. That was brilliant. Everyone give a virtual round of applause at home for Laurie. He's absolutely amazing. Um, and... Thank you for all of the love that you're showing, Laurie, and me. Um, shall I do? Yeah, I'm going to do a po another poem, and then I will speak to somebody else, another special guest. Um, I'm just going to have a look at what everyone's saying. You're just clapping. You're just clapping me. Well, I'm probably clapping Laurie, but whatever. Um, I'm going to do... What am I going to do? Um... I'm going to do this one just because in Laurie's um, poem, what stuck out um, to me was saying that she, we're trying, at least we're trying. And I've got a poem. Again, I don't perform this one very much um, in the book, and it's called Trying. Um, and it's it's another love one, another lovely one. All right, we'll get to, you know, the, the pubs and, and the grief later um but yeah this is called trying and then i'll have another little chat bye bye love you love you too laurie bulger trying i still don't like myself every day but you do so i'm trying to on the rare occasion you wake before me i open my eyes to the face of a child who has finally got that special thing at the top of their christmas list i am the nintendo 64 ps3 
Tamagotchi. I am the thing that didn't come easy. You are a long awaited holiday. A cold beer at the end of a shift. A text back from my brother. A bloody miracle. It has been dry for 31 days straight and our bodies stick to the sheets. In the mornings, I reach for you like the water we keep on our bedside table. I swallow you whole. There are still days I want to cover all the mirrors. Try on every piece of clothing I own. Decide to stay at home. It is on these days, like any other, you tell me I am beautiful. Pick out a dress you like. Try this one. See, look, that's nice. One of these days, the sky will break. The rain will fall and I will dance in it. I will dance in it with you. I may not like myself every day, but because of you, I'm trying to. Because of you, I'm trying. Cool. Oh, my days, Shawnee Sense, N64 Love. <laughs> yep. Is that, is that where Laurie lives? Yeah. Um, I love this one. Oh, thank you. Thank you to everyone who's uh, purchased and read the book already. That's amazing. Um, and if you like it, you can um, buy it if you can. But I'm also like putting quite a lot of it um, online so that people can access it, even if they can't afford it in this weird, crazy time. Um, oh, thank you, Rebecca. That's so lovely. Um, I think I'm going to try to speak to Bridget if she's here and we can do some like questions and maybe she'll do a little poem as well. Oh, thanks for all your comments. That's lovely. Let me see if I can. Oh, yes. Here's Bridget. Let's see if we can get Bridget. Waiting for B Heart, yeah. I should have brought the bottle of Prosecco in. Hello! What have you got there? Pims, mate. I don't like Pims, babes. Oh, that is contradict. Wow. I don't know. It's a. Uh... Oh, sorry, I'm just going to hang up. <laughs> <laughs> but have you done it proper with all the fruit and that? Yeah, my mum came home from work and was like, Pims, and one. Isn't your mum a nurse? My mum works in operating theatres. Amazing, big, so there's a big applause. That post, Joey. You know mean? That's that's not going to change the fact that it's a really fucking hard time for her, is it? But um, I'm still just trying to show love and appreciation. Oh, um, great lady. She's but the problem is, you put fruit in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She she told me. Uh, thanks, Matt's topping me up. Cheers, babes. She uh, she made an arm and a leg for the strawberries today, so. Strawberries are expensive, apparently, right now. Are they? Yeah, so... Well, so, well they're quite posh, aren't they, strawberries? It's not like your average... It's not like an apple, is it? Yeah, I didn't ever... I don't I don't really buy them, so I don't really know how expensive they are, generally. But, you know, whatever. Laurie Bodger, Pims, haha, who do you think you are, Bridge? Pims, mate. You're getting a lot of love for the Pims, actually. Sorry, maybe I spoke to you soon. Yeah, see, and she put this little flamingo straw in it. Oh yeah, nice. So, you know, that is a yeah. I like that straw, mate. Yeah. What about mint? How do you feel about mint yeah, in your pins? Okay. okay. Well, you know, you know what? If it's done properly, I can respect the pins. Mm. But you know, if you're just going to put pins and lemonade in a glass mm. with a bit of you've got you know shebang. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, you know. And you're in a lovely, like, sort of conservatory. Yeah, this is my mum's conservatory at my mum's house. That's lush. I know. Oh, and all fairy lights and stuff. That's lovely. No, it's really nice. How I lovely. be here. Because I live in a gallery Thank you. in Bristol, and it's very small. So I was very grateful to yeah. be here and have a conservatory, which is good. A conservatoire. <laughs> The drink there. Junior Pims in the conservatory. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Um, so, what do you want to do? Do you want Do you want to read a poem first? Yeah. So, I 
there's a that second poem that you did there's a line in it that's really similar to a line i've got in one of my poems and uh, i was thinking about what poem to do so i'm going to do that one now um and, amazing and it's about uh when i live with one of my old friends in a one bedroom flat together when we were 20 and um we neither of us went to university so we just got jobs and, and found a flat and moved in together and um it's a uh, it's about that it's about that and it's in my burning eye book big up burning eye big up burning eye Woo! called 83a gordon avenue we decide our first weekend will be a quiet one we want to stay home and take in adulthood to choke the necks of two rusty merlots a housewarming present from our mothers. We sit in our cramped kitchen, Victorian terraced, once house, now upstairs, one bedroom, high ceilings and dormant mantelpieces. Our second hand table becomes an arena for wild talk, apocalypse and tobacco dregs and yet to be paid council tax. Our drunk mouths run like motorways, coughing up secrets and throwing gestures of what we could have, should have and would have said to those who have wronged us. And through the open sash window, we smoke out our grievances, jilted. One bottle in, we rip apart the estimated water bill and sink into the bath. She paints my face an unwanted papaya cream. I smear toothpaste between the tiles. We insist our authenticity with a front door key and our names stuck above the doorbell. We shove the walls aside. Play hacky sack in our underwear, turn childhood ball games into lethal methods of intoxication. Side note, frustration is the best drinking game. But we are too big for bunk beds. No longer able to fit our legs through the slats of Nana's stairs. Too old for mum's lap and her sliced finger sympathies. We must medicate ourselves now. Two bottles down, we make breakfast at midnight giddy on the novelty, use the socks as a radiator and cook our socks on it, let the plates pile up, the boiler's broken but we're still content to just boil the kettle to wash up once a day and thrill our skin on pipe cold water. Thanks. Beautiful. I have got to stay inside. Thank you, baby. You know, just giving people ideas of what to do when they're inside. Hacky sack in your underwear. Rip up the water bill and get in the bath. Love that. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Who needs water bills? No one. I'm trying not to think about my bills, babes, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, fair. So how are you? How are you doing? How's um how's how's this virtual book launch going for you so far? I'm loving it, babes. It's good, isn't it? I love it. I'm, yeah. And I was really nervous about it because I'm not a very um tech technological person is that a word yeah a word. technological yeah probably um i'm not one of those um so like i've done a few gigs now and like i did one on zoom i did one on facebook live i'm doing obviously this now um and they're really lovely and they give me sort of s something to you know get dressed for um which is amazing at the moment because you know that's something I, I really need i think at the moment um but it is also weird because i keep going oh wait hold on i'm just alone in my living room i'm not alone in my living room because obviously all of you are here with me and matt's just there and the pandas yeah 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 I think it's really hi Matt. Nice to see you, mate. Oh, isn't he cute? Yeah, he's put a pizza in, isn't he? Oh, bless so. So I was supposed to ask you some questions about the book, but um, we're going to do a podcast episode. So yes. I'm going to I'm going to ask you all, all the questions about the book then. But I I kind of I kind of wanted to know um, what your what you think the poem or the poems in the book. What do you think are the ones that are going to that you're going to be performing for a long time? Do you have any that you know, you've got a feeling of already that they're going to be the ones that stay with you? Maybe longer than the, you know, your next book comes out, but maybe you're still doing those from the from the, this collection. That's hard. Yeah, that's quite a, a difficult question. I mean, I'm the one, there are ones that I'm immediately drawn to perform, but I don't know if I'd get sick of them. I don't know, but um, there's, 
a sequence running through it about my best friend um, that I think will, will, will never get old to me and I would want to perform forever and ever and ever. And maybe add to as well, because each um, each poem in that strand of the book is named after the age we are at the time I'm, I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, I wanted to write a poem for and about her, um, but we've been friends for, you know, nearly 30, 30 years. Show my age. Um, <laughs> and... I, I was just like, this is impossible. So then I, I wrote po five poems. So one at 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30. Mm. Um, and I love reading that strand together and sort of seeing how our friendship has evolved over time. Yeah. And I would love to add to it when we're 35, 40, 45, 50, you know, yeah. and make it, you know, a, a thing in itself. I have to say, um, so working on the manuscript together, those pieces were really stood out to me I really loved those pieces and I remember being like whatever you do with this collection of poems you keep these pieces in there somehow because they they really are they really do tell a story and I think there's a lot of people out there that have maybe an old friend that kind of slips in and out of their lives quite a lot um for whatever reason but you're always connected through time and those things and that poem kind of brings or draws all of that those good times out of you makes me think of all the good times with my friends or all the like shamefully weird memories I have that that you know sometimes I'm like why why do I remember that of the friendship and like you know the weird crazy shit yeah it's really interesting isn't it like where your head goes to you're like okay I'm 15 with this person or I'm 20 with this person and the things the little things you remember or like the quotes or uh like the in jokes yeah. what you were watching wearing or drinking at the time you know yeah um yeah i think i'll definitely be performing those for a long time and also sort of like the type the title poem and the stuff about my heritage and where i come from because i'm so proud of that and it's taken me a long time to actually get to that place yeah um what where i'm well, proud of it all right mate is probably one of the best opening poems to a collection i've i've read in terms of like setting the tone of the the whole thing like it does it really well the way that you you work to put curate all of those poems together there's a lot of thought that's gone into that and and you can tell and it's almost like we're there with you and and it's a stage performance it's all it's almost like you've done it as a as a whole thing which are, which is sort of kind of what this is now except i'm here and uh i'm gonna go away now so that you could yeah do more power my friend abigail who i went to school with has just put wkd with a sick emoji that was my yeah and one of the poems 15 ends with me down in a bottle of wkd and then just sicking it straight back up good times because i think we but put a bit of a more poetical way than that but not much yeah. if i'm honest i mean it's so relatable <laughs> congratulations well done you've done an excellent job i'm very proud of you thank you so much Michael. thank you Thank you for putting up with me as well. No, it's very difficult most of the time. No, you're great. I love you. It makes me feel like I've got... I love you too. Mwah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. Bye -bye. I'll see you soon. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Here we go. That was Bridget Hart. Part of Burning Eye. Um... Jack Rook, I found it. Where he was probably on my page. I told you, babes. I told you where I was going to be. You're late. Um, yeah, people would like giving Bridget so much love and claps and stuff like that. Um, do you want to do a poem? Yeah, come over. Come over here. He's just been sort of sat here on the sofa. I feel quite bad because I've been completely ignoring him. It's your book while I'm trying. Oh no! Oh yeah, no, I know. Come on in. Here he is. All right. I can't um, say all right, girl, in my accent. It sounds weird. Say all right, girl, in your accent. All right, girl. Yeah, it's weird. We'd say hey up, love. Probably. No. No, I don't write, write a collection. Called that then. <laughs> special guest, Matt. Yeah, special guest, Matt. Um, and this is uh, our... What would you say Chi Chi is to us? Uh, our rock. Our rock. <laughs> Pet child rock inspiration. All of the above. Crisp knicker. Yeah, she's obsessed with crisps and she hates northerners. She hates Matt so much. 
I know this makes you sound mad, but you've got to do something, haven't you, in these fucking times. Um, Aok Chuk, yeah. Kathy, my auntie, has a northern husband also, but he's from Lancashire, then. Yeah. Lancashire, and that's from Yorkshire. It's a bit of contention. We won't go there. So I'm going to pass it over to Matt, and then I will end with a couple of poems. And then I might take an after party on my Instagram or house party, depending on how, you know, frisky I'm feeling. I'm going to get out of the way so that you can do this. Oh, okay. Hello. Um, this is a poem that I wrote when I... I've been going to the pub where Maria sometimes works in Stratford for a couple of years, and they sort of knew I was a Leeds fan, but I always kept it a bit quiet because everybody hates Leeds. Um, but then on the first day of the season, I decided to go there in a Leeds United shirt. And it's sort of... It's not about football, don't worry. It's more about working class communities and identity and belonging and gentrification and that. There are some football references in there, but if you don't get them, it doesn't matter. It's just decoration. Okay. They knew Stratford long before the architects. When shopping malls swamped suburbs and skies were scraped by the city, pie and mash with sawdust floors and lager tops in moros, a history only visible now to those who quietly lived it. But from Watney's to Westfield, there's one remaining constant. Identity, allegiance and belonging to a dream. Cheering on the irons from the Berlin Terrace, where substitutes could smell your breath and mortals took it away. See, I only knew it as Upton Park. I only saw it in pixels. And I've only ever known Stratford as it is. This gentrified metropolis sprouting through the cracks. But the tail end of the good old days enraptured me in the 90s. No running tracks for Julian Dix or million quid contracts. I'm wearing my 72 replica, it's the first game of the season, and we're playing away at Bristol and the game's live on Sky. I check with my fiancé because I'm worried that it's risky. She's known this lot for years now and she smiles and says, it looks nice. This crisp white shirt beneath a claret and blue flag in a pub where Billy Bonds beats Billy Bremner. I'm a paranoid imposter, I scratch my chest at the bar, I drown in my surroundings as they clock me from afar. Nowadays, in their seats, they clock suits guzzling popcorn, force-fed this rented Olympic dream. For family-run clubs see entertainment franchise, and the boys of 86 are a distant faded bubble. Bobby Moore was the landlord here, Arnautovic never came. And in some ways, with cockles and coal, in others, one and the same. So no, they don't give a shit about my shirt. The first thing they do is ask me if a scorer was stiff or Clark. They reminisce about Revy's team and then take the piss about Derby. And through Pablo, Bamford, Harrison, I gradually relax. In the wrong pub, on the wrong day, this descends into hell. They say, anyone gives you a stick, lad, they'll have us to deal with as well. Um, congratulations to Maria Ferguson on publishing All Right Girl. It's an absolutely breathtakingly beautiful collection. And if you don't have it already, you should buy it. It's wonderful. I'm very, very proud of her. Thanks. That was nice, wasn't it? That was nice. Um, we might as well get him to do a poem, make himself useful around the house. Um, yeah, fuck the London Stadium. Yeah, exactly. We hate the London Stadium. Less said about that, the better, really. Come on, you pims. <laughs> 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 nice from that. Adam obviously loves that, being a West Ham fan. Lots of this, lots of this. Yeah, I remember... I. I when me and Matt first got together, I worked in that pub quite a lot and we used to come in like a sourdough on a Friday night didn't we? and just drink at the bar and pretend you were just passing or something. I once walked there. You once walked there? Yeah. From where? From Manor House. Why? Just fancied it. Took me over an hour. Well, I was just passing. And that's <laughs> love. And I was just passing. <laughs> <laughs> just passing. Just passing. Yeah, no, I'm bloody shacked up here, aren't I? Getting married, hopefully. God, maybe. Hopefully. Who knows what's going to happen. Um, because he loves you, yes. Yes, thank you. The Black Ball Proper Hammers Pub, yes. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Amazing. So, yeah, I'm just going to do... Oh, I've been on for quite a while now. Thanks, everyone, for sticking around. There's been, like, loads of you over it as well. Um, 
so yeah, I'm just going to do a few more poems and then I'm going to end this and maybe maybe do some other stuff on different platforms throughout the night to like speak to different people. But honestly, thank you so much. I I really didn't think anyone was going to come. And, um, you know, it's a bit rubbish, but at the same time, it's just still so lovely and still an achievement. And like I said before, I, I sort of, went through a bit of a process with with the whole book and sort of just just imposter syndrome I suppose to a point but also like knowing that my poetry um isn't like I don't know tip, typical poetry or that um it's like confessional or relatable which apparently are, are bad things to be um, in the poetry world but things that I feel are quite necessary um, for, for, for me and for the people I know and you know I want people to be able to feel things um, when they read my poems so yeah I am proud and I'm very very happy to um, put it out in the world and to share it with you I guess yeah um, so yeah love the book happy launch day thank you thank you kieran thank you for um buying it i remember making that out also it's been keeping me sane like just signing the books and sending them out at the post office and wiping them down with anti-back don't worry about that um congratulations on the future marriage instagram live in your personal process thank you bun the literati speak your truth thank you very much <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Amy's here. Amy Aker is here. Amy Aker edited the, the collection with me and she is uh, amazing. So if you don't know, get to know because she's brilliant. Um, I'm just going to read. So because I was talking about the friendship ones with um, Bridget, I'm going to read a few of those, but not all of them. I guess I'll read. I'll read the last three. So 20, 25 and 30. Um, they're only very short, so it won't take long. And then I think I'll end with. Um, the final poem. Oh, thank you, Jill. My favourite collection this year. Oh, thank you so much, Kat. This is amazing. Okay, I'm going to read. Oh, and Jake's here. Love to Jake. Um, okay, 20. We talk on the phone for the first time in weeks. You're in your second year at university and I just started drama school. You ask me if there are a lot of people singing on tables and I say yes, because there are. You have a handful of contact hours a week and a nightclub on campus. I am in school every day from nine to six, mainly screaming at trees. We are both drinking most days and fancy people we shouldn't fancy. You say I should come visit soon. There's a big night coming up with fancy dress. You've learned how to make Skittle vodka and the train's not very expensive. We decide we'll both go as mimes. I'm jealous of your new friends. They sound nice. I miss you, but I don't know how to tell you that. I'm worried that I still haven't had a proper boyfriend, but I don't tell you that either. Before you hang up, you tell me to stop smoking. 25. I call you on a Saturday morning. I haven't been to bed. It is summer and the sun is shining in someone else's garden. It's your birthday and you've gone away with your boyfriend. I am still wearing last night's dress, drinking cider from a champagne flute. He's asked you to marry him. My legs nearly give way. I ask a dozen questions, tears streaming down my cheeks. We agree we'll meet up soon. And you'll tell me everything. I put down the phone, go back inside. The others are playing Jenga. They have socks on their hands and penises drawn on their faces in eyeliner. I go and get into bed with two sleeping bodies. I don't know what it means. 
to be in love. 30. We sit in a cafe near your house down the road from our old school. Your little one is sleeping and we are drinking coffee. We have diamonds on our ring fingers. Life is hard and we are happy. She wakes confused and grumpy so we take her to the park. We pass the public toilets where I took my first pregnancy test. We push her on the swings, point to things of interest, speak in one word sentences, doggy, slide, ball. You look at her with love, I can't yet comprehend. I am proud of everything that's led us here. There are still monsters hiding underneath our beds. Though you'll swear blind to her, they don't exist. Cool. So that's some of um, the, the friendship um, thread that runs throughout the collection. Skittle vodka. Yeah, with that emoji. <laughs> Congrats, you're amazing, lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're just so flipping lush, aren't you? Um, I think, yeah, I'm just going to do one more. I'm just going to do one more and then we can all get to our nights because... Matt's drink has run dry. Oh no, have you got a beer as well? He's double parked. He's double parked. Why am I single parked? Do you want a beer? No. <laughs> I'll just uh, read this poem and then, um, and then I'll be off. Unless there's any like questions from from you guys quickly before I go. Yeah. Did you see that? I need to top that. So. Oh, he's, he's going. He's going to get more. Um, right, so this is the title poem, and it's called All Right Girl. Get her a beer, Matt. Don't worry, babe. I've got another bottle of Prosecco in there. Hi, Megan. This is so great. Okay. All right, girl. It's the call of the blokes I know from trading notes for pints of John Smith's. The relief of another living breathing thing in an empty pub in January. It's a longing for a lost wife or three, a smile as their palm is graced with change. They hold on a little too long. It's the raise of the hand or curt nod when I see them in the street, away from beer mats and tired stories, tired eyes, rosy cheeks, a greeting in a familiar kitchen the same questions to follow each time as the poetry, as the love life. It's the cabbie who knows the East End like the freckles on his wife's nose, rolls out names that might impress Jack the Hat, Billy the Bomb. It's the barman on a Saturday night when I said I'd only have one and my eyes are red and my mouth is dry and all I really want is his voice to be my dad's on the end of the line, miles away, killing time, with that question I never know the answer to. So there you have it. All right, girl. Um, I better get off because it's going to kick me off soon because I've been on nearly an hour. I was only going to do half an hour. Um, so sorry if I've gone on, but it's been lovely to um, speak to it to everyone. Um, and like I say, I might pop on mine later or I might go on house party. Is everyone been on house party? I was on a conversation the other day on house party and a thing just popped up. It was with Jack Rook, actually. This thing popped up and it was just um, Harry the horse and someone in like a horse mask just joined our conversation because we hadn't locked the room. So I guess if you're doing anything naughty on house party, um, lock the room because <laughs> Harry the horse might come. <laughs> Um, yay, hurrah, hurrah, love that so much, oh, thanks, Ben, oh, thank you, thank you, Jake, thank you, Laurie, thank you, Bridget, for joining me, thank you all for coming, and I'm going to try and put this on, like, a story, or on Instagram TV, or on Facebook, or something, I don't know, Matt's good at that sort of stuff, I'm not good at that stuff, so, yeah, so, bye from me, 
Bye from Chi Chi. <laughs> and bye from Matt. Come on, Matt. Family portrait. Hello. Well done, Ferg. Tap. Smashed it. Bye, everyone. I'm going to end it now. Proud of you, girl. Thanks, Abigail. Thank you. Hopefully get to see you soon. Yeah, you too. And Bridget has recorded the screen. Amazing. So if I F it up, then she's got it. Okay. Cheers, everyone. See you later. Go have a drink. I love you all. Bye.